Hello, and welcome to The Endless Knot. Today I want to talk to you a little bit, ask you some questions, and see if you can give me a bit of help. I'm working away at a number of new videos, so stay tuned, there'll be a few more coming out in the next little while. But for now I want to take stock and review a little bit. Think about what I've done, what worked, what could be developed further, what ideas I've left untapped. I'm really fascinated by the surprising connections I didn't expect. As I do the research, I found a number of ways that these videos or these words or these historical connections have linked up. So for instance, Greek myth has come up quite frequently, um, and the ongoing influence of Greek myth on both English language and English cultural history. For instance, in the videos Clue, the story of narrative, and Paddle Your Own Canoe. The importance of scientific innovation, both on cultural and literary uh, history, or on the development of the English language itself. There's examples in lots of my videos, in particular most recently, videos such as Clue, Coach, and Gimlet. In particular, there are specific innovators such as Erasmus Darwin, who is often overshadowed by his much more famous grandson, Charles Darwin, uh, but Erasmus Darwin himself pioneered some ideas about evolutionary theory, as well as being a polymath in a number of different areas. His influence is important both in terms of linguistic, literary, uh, and scientific. Enemy of the show Oliver Cromwell has been mentioned a number of times, for instance in Yule and Cuckold, and uh, the Crimean War has been mentioned a couple of times, uh, both in uh, a detective story uh, and in Beef, and I haven't even yet mentioned my favorite bit of trivia about the Crimean War. Maybe that'll come up soon. So now I'd like to hear from you, either in the comments, on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter. Are there any connections you've noticed that I haven't picked up on? Things I've missed? Connections or people or ideas that I've mentioned but you'd like to see followed up on more? Words that I've mentioned in passing that you'd like a little more detail on? Or would you be interested in more unboxings and reviews of other linguistic tools, for instance? And if so, what type? Other etymological dictionaries, contemporary dictionaries, dictionaries of historic dead languages. I've had a request for reviews of some other shorter contemporary dictionaries. Is that something that would be of interest? Would you like to see more cocktail videos? And if so, do you have a favorite cocktail name? Are there any particular historical periods you'd like me to focus on more? The ancient world, the Middle Ages, the Renaissance, the 19th century? If any of the videos I mentioned today are new to you, why not go back and have a look at them? If you like them and you want to help me make more, it would be really helpful if you could share them as widely as possible. Through Twitter, through Facebook, on YouTube. I'm really grateful for all the positive response I've had so far. I'd like to reach more people and build a community of people who are interested in the sorts of things that I'm researching and writing about. So any suggestions for getting the word out, send them my way. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now!